Hello everyone. This is a small video on some tips and tricks on how to use slash t perfectly in printf statements. Now you must all be knowing why we use slash t in the printf statement that is to insert uh, word, uh, horizontal tabs uh, inside our printf statements. Now we use this whenever we want fix width columns inside our printf statements. So now there is a, a slight um, confusion here that how many slash t's to use to perfectly align a particular uh, output. So now one way of doing it is trial and error. You just run the program and if you find that it is not perfectly aligned then you can add additional slash t's to um, uh, align the output like for example let us go to our programming uh, IDE that is code blocks create a new file and first let us save it uh, let me save it with some name and let me get the template and now let me printf something over here printf let's say I want to print a equal to 50 and in let's say I just add slash n to get to a new line then I put um, let's say Mumbai is equal to 60 and then I put another line which is the best weather in India let's say um, winter okay. so if I just uh, run this program you would see okay so it is uh, printing but it is not printing the way I want I want it to be aligned perfectly so to align it I can use uh, let's say first of all all equal to's should be in one column so I can add slash t over here then slash t over here and slash t over here and if I run this now okay so both the first and the second uh, is aligned but the third one is not aligned so to align that I have to add additional slash t's in the first and second so now almost there I need one more slash t and perfect so now we are aligned now all the equal to's are on on the same uh, column they are aligned perfectly now this is one way of doing it trial and error but how about if we have some way to find out exactly how many slash t's to be used now this is very helpful when you don't have an ID in front of you like during your examinations where you you, you will be writing uh, your answers on a pen uh, using your pen and paper so where there you don't have access to the IDE or the compiler so uh, you can't actually fi find out how many slash t's you require so in such cases there is uh, uh, this process is going to help you in determining how many uh, slash t's is required so let's begin so let us uh, clean up this I will remove everything from here okay so this is what we want so at least by this time you have understood that since we have to align all these equal to's in one column we have to put slash t's in front of it okay so here we are going to find out how many slash t's to be put so that they are aligned perfectly so to do this let me add just one more line 
so that it becomes a bit more complicated okay so I have added another line just uh, so that we have a uh, few more lines okay so now we have four lines and we I want all the lines the equal to symbols to be aligned perfectly so to do that all you have to do is find out the line which is having the maximum characters so let me take these things onto my board okay so I've taken this onto my board let me find out so uh, we have already calculated this has one character this has one two three four five six characters and this line has uh, before the equal to symbol I have 25 characters and this line has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 characters okay so now the way you find out how many slash TCC required is pretty simple all you have to do is find out the maximum out of these four that is uh, in, in our case it is 25 and find a value which is uh, which is in the uh, it is multiple of 7 and greater than 25 so 7 fours are 28 so 28 is what we want because 28 is greater than 25 and it is divisible by 7 now you may ask why 7 so basically every slash t statement so when I put slash t it is basically equal to 7 spaces okay so that's why I am doing uh, I'm finding out multiples of 7 so I found out the maximum characters and found the next highest multiple of 7 that is 28 now 28 is nothing but 7 into 4 that is so 7 is the number of uh, uh, spaces in one tab and like that we need four tabs that will give you 28 width of 28 so basically what this means is we need four slash t's maximum in any of these lines now out of these how many we need will depend on how many characters are present in each line so in the first case in the first one so now remember in every line we are going to cancel some of the slash t's depending on whether uh, wh uh, how many characters are there or not so what you have to do is take the line let's say in this case the first line take this line in the first line we have one character so what you do is 1 divide by 7 your answer comes out to be 0 so that means you have to put you have to cancel 0 slash t's so since 0 slash t's are cancelled that means in the first line you have to put all the 4 slash t's let's go to the second one in second one we have 6 so 6 divided by 7 that is again 0 so again we have to put all 4 slash t's since nothing is cancelled now let's go to the next one that is in the next third line we have 25 characters so 25 divided by 7 this is actually 3 if we divide 25 by 7 you get 3 an integer value 3 so that means 3 slash t's needs to be cancelled so how much how much is remaining only one slash t so in this particular statement that is line number three I have to put one slash t over here okay and next let us go to 
the last statement I have 12 so let me just divide 12 by 7 so that makes me may, may that gives you 1 7 1 the 7 so that means 1 slash t is to be removed so the remaining is 3 slash t's so that shows that in this particular um, example you need one slash uh, sorry four slash t's over here four slash t's over here one slash t over here and three slash t's over here so let us go to the program and see if we are correct so let us come back and put the slash t's so in the first one i need four slash t's the second one also i need four slash t's and in the third one i need one slash t and in the fourth one i need three slash t's so if i run this perfect so this is how you find out how many slash t's is required in in a printf statement now before i wrap up this session i would just like to show you the proof that uh, the slash t's are actually uh, one slash t is actually seven characters so just let let me just put two pipes over here just as a marker and a slash in to print it on a new new line again I have two pipes now in the top line this is just going to print two pipes onto the screen okay so that is perfect now I'm going to add seven spaces over here one two three four five six seven and here instead of space I'm going to put only a slash T now if both of these lines are aligned that will just prove us that uh, one slash t corresponds to um, seven spaces so if I just run this you can see both of the lines are aligned like let me just zoom it so you can see both of the lines are aligned so that shows that one slash t corresponds to seven spaces now other another thing that I would like to show before I wrap up is let's suppose I put a character over here and if I print this over here thing to note is even though I have one character it is still using the same space that is a seven character space so basically what a slash t does is it reserves seven spaces seven locations for your data so unless and until those seven spaces are occupied it will not uh, air st um, reserve additional seven spaces for you let's say for example I put another character and another character and now if I run it still I will get the same width let me put few more characters still if you see uh, I still have I have added around six characters and still I have the same width now just look at it what happens when I put one more character and if I run this now is the difference so now as soon as all the seven locations are occupied and after that when slash t is used it will reserve additional seven characters for you so this is how the slash t works so i hope you have understood how slash t that is tab character works now some of you may uh, be wondering why uh, slash t uses seven spaces so in general it was a standard used by many of the uh, operating systems to um, use seven spaces for slash t now in most uh, most of the modern 
uh, editors and compilers uh, sorry in, in most of the mo uh, modern uh, terminals you are able to configure the number of spaces that are uh, that that will be used in a, sl a slash t character arrives so uh, this is nowadays configurable but as a standard uh, normally all uh, the slash t uses seven characters so i hope you have understood the uh, use of slash t and how to calculate the number of slash t's that are required thank you